This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at collision theory. According to collision theory, reactant particles must collide with each other to have a chemical reaction. They must collide with sufficient kinetic energy, that's energy greater than the activation energy, and with the correct orientation or geometry. We look at activation energy in more detail in the next video. Collisions between reactant particles that result in a chemical reaction are called successful collisions. Those that don't result in a chemical reaction are called unsuccessful collisions. Next we look at the difference between an unsuccessful and a successful collision in terms of geometry. First, the reactant molecules approach each other. However, they collide with incorrect geometry, therefore no reaction takes place. And finally, the reactant molecules separate. Next we look at a successful collision. So once again, the reactant molecules approach each other, but this time they collide with the correct geometry, a chemical reaction takes place, and the products are formed.